After a whole month of temporary event areas, we are finally getting a brand new world in Pet Simulator 99. These back-to-back -back event worlds have prevented a lot of progress within the economy, as they've given out a ton of free huges, prevented us from grinding gems, as well as limited the amount of items that we can grind. All of that ends tomorrow, however, as we have gotten confirmation today that we are getting a brand new millionaire world be put in the game, and this one is a permanent addition. With this new world, hopefully we will be able to fully grind like we were before for items and gems alike. Now, of course, this isn't all sunshine and rainbows. This new addition could cause a lot of issues within the economy. So in today's video, we're going to be going over every single leak that we have so far and how they will affect the economy as well as how you guys will be trading. Now, if this video helps you to learn something new, please give it a like and subscribe for more. I make content like this all the time on Pet Simulator 99. Now, let's just get straight into these very important leaks. All right, you guys, so today we do have a ton of new leaks. I believe we have about eight, and two of those are from big games themselves, so you might have seen them already, but there might have been some details within those tweets that you might not have noticed quite yet, so we'll be going over all of that. So starting off strong, we have the first tweet from big games, which actually came out yesterday, and in this tweet, they actually give out quite a bit of information. So they start off by saying that you guys voted and we cooked. Now, if you guys don't know what big games is referring to when they say that we voted they actually put a poll over on their discord essentially what this poll was asking is what the community preferred in terms of event worlds or if they prefer to not have event worlds at all and as you can see from the results on the screen here the overwhelming majority of players actually voted that they prefer no events at all and just being able to grind or do whatever in the current void worlds so if we go back to this tweet that we got yesterday from big games what they're saying in this tweet is that they listened to that poll and they made this week's up update not an event world so this is going to be a brand new permanent world that's going to be a part of world three in the void now this is really big for a few reasons because as you guys know in event worlds you are limited in the amount that you can actually grind for example in the past two event worlds that we've been having for the past two months we've only been able to use i believe 10 huges or was it 15 huges either way this put a big strain on the economy as people needed less and less huges within the game because really people only needed 15 huges to be able to grind as quick as possible and the fact that people were only allowed to use 15 huges limited the amount of gems that were entering the economy as people were able to grind less and less and it also limited the amount of items that were being grinded so because this new millionaire world that is coming in the update tomorrow is just a regular permanent world that means we're going to be able to use the max amount of pets that we have equipped so this is huge because it is going to bring in a lot more gems into the economy which could cause a bit of inflation now another Another thing that this does is actually increase the need for the regular enchants because honestly like all of these enchants have been essentially useless for the past month because we haven't been able to fully grind like we were in the past. So because everybody is going to be grinding in regular areas and they don't need to use all these weird builds with like very weird enchants, I would assume that a lot of the prices of enchants like these are going to start going back up, especially this diamond gift hunter enchant because since they released this when we were in an event world people have not fully been able to grind with these so honestly i could potentially see these diamond gift hunters start going up in value because of that now let me just be clear that this isn't investment advice this is just a trend that i could possibly see because we still do have to wait till the update tomorrow to see how much people are playing the game and how much people are grinding and really how much diamonds are actually entering the market. But because people are going to be able to use that diamond gift hunter setup now, I would not be surprised if that diamond gift hunter book does go up in value. Now back to the tweet from big games. They also say in here that they're going to have huge pet raffles. So I'm sure you guys know what a raffle is. I guess this new world is going to introduce a new way to potentially buy tickets for a raffle to get a huge pet. To me, it just sounds like a brand new way to gamble. So it seems like it's going to be a pretty cool system. All the players in Pet Simulator 99 love to gamble. So this is a perfect addition, it seems like. And then next up in this tweet, they also say they're introducing a risk mini game, which I do have a picture as well that they posted on their Discord a couple days ago. I'll have the picture on the screen here, but as you can see, there is a certain amount of rooms. And I guess as you progress through the rooms, you're going to have a choice between risking the current reward that you have now 
and like either doubling it or tripling it or something like that or just leaving the room now with your current prize so knowing big games i'm not sure what kind of prizes will actually be in this room i doubt there'll be anything too crazy because if you can risk your reward up to 20 times like in this picture it seems like that would be absolutely insane so i can't wait to see this in tomorrow's update but let's just keep moving on because we have a lot to cover now lastly in this first tweet they also say that there is a new boost machine that's going to be included in this world as well and i do have another picture of this i will have that on the screen here essentially this is what the machine will look like as you can see on the little screen at the bottom it looks like it has a picture of a pet so we're not currently sure exactly what kind of boost this machine will actually enable you to do but either way it definitely looks like some cool content that we can expect to see tomorrow now next up is actually a tweet from big games that came out within this past hour so hopefully a lot of you guys haven't seen this quite yet now in this picture we see four new huges that we can expect to see in tomorrow's update now these all seem to be sort of like millionaire versions of current huges that we have in the game so in the back we can see this gecko with some jewels on him so he looks like pretty bedazzled or something like that and then we have a peacock on the right which sort of looks like a diamond peacock not sure if that's what it's going to be called or if that's even <laughs> the theme they're going for but that's what it looks like to me and then we have a owl in the middle that has some coins and a golden top hat which looks quite snazzy and then finally up front we have like a crystal snake or cobra and the snake is all diamond studded so these look like a pretty cool set of new huges that we can get from this millionaire world tomorrow now i'm not sure if these are going to be like specific active huges that you can only get in this new world or how they're actually going to give them out i would assume relating to that last tweet that we had from big games that you're going to be able to get them from the huge pet raffles or the risk mini game something like that i would assume but again just something we'll have to wait till tomorrow to see now next up we actually have this diamond themed huge and some people in the community have been speculating that this huge is actually going to be part of the new diamond pack now at the time of recording this i don't truly really believe that the diamond pack is coming back to the game and honestly big games has been trolling us with a lot of potential leaks lately so this leak of this diamond pack huge could be completely fake for all we know but either way i thought i would show you just so you guys can come up to a conclusion for yourself i think ever since big games discovered the forever pack uh, they've been making a lot more robux with that than they would with a diamond pack so for that reason is why i think they won't include this huge but again it's just something i wanted to show you guys now next up we actually have the rewards for the brand new clan battle coming tomorrow it's actually been two weeks since we've had a clan battle because they did the last clan battle back to back so because of that they gave us a two week break to prepare for this next battle and we have the rewards right here for this now this clan battle banner was sent to me but i'm 99 sure that it's actually not real i'm pretty sure it's some sort of concept art made by somebody in the community but i'm pretty sure all of the rewards that are in this banner are actually real because we got all of these rewards in separate leaks so i can just show you all of them right here on this banner so for the one through 10 spot we have the new huge clown cat now this new huge actually looks pretty cool and whoever wins this new clan battle is going to be getting that rainbow gold or regular version of it and then we also have the new hoverboard as well as the new booth that are included in this banner so if you are also top 10 you get this new hoverboard and then if you are top 50 you get that booth as well and there's no way from looking at leaks that we would be able to tell what the actual clan battle is going to be but since this isn't an event world i'm not too sure what they're going to throw together for us to be able to do for this clan battle either way though big games has been doing pretty good at the last few clan battles so i'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and hope this is a really good one now really quickly a reminder if you want access to these leaks before i talk about them in a video you could see them over on my discord link will be down in the description below we also do daily giveaways over on that discord so you guys should be joined up anyways but last but not least we also have this leak here which is the picture of the icons of the three three new hoverboards that we're expecting to see in tomorrow's update now again we were expecting to see these three new hoverboards in the last update or i think even maybe two updates ago now 
but this is the first time that we've actually seen the icons like in this little game format. So I think that we for sure should be seeing these hoverboards in tomorrow's update, which means that they should be replacing uh, these mosaic hoverboards, the rich hoverboard, as well as the supercar. Again, that could be a potential investment for you guys that might know more about hoverboards. But personally, I haven't invested in hoverboards. I just like to buy the hoverboards that I think are cool. So I have things like the helicopter and the glizzy as well as like all these other ones. But that's pretty much it. I hope I didn't do too much yapping. I hope I can make this video nice and short for you guys. But either way, make sure you're joined up on the discord. Give the video a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.